JJ Smoke here. Just got done doing a workout. I figured I'd um, make this video for you all about this topic I actually wanted to talk about. Make sure I got this set up right. Alright. Um, it's called <laughs> What Are Your Intentions? Pretty much. And as you can see, just me coming up in the video, starting off with me doing my workouts, and kind of get a pretense of what you think this video might be about, right? The reason why I started off like that is because I wanted to see where your heads would go, where your thought process would go, and what you would think about if the video started off like that. And a lot of times, this is what's coming into people's DMs. It's the intention, it's the innuendo, it's the trying to do something that might not be warranted, trying to get somewhere that might not have been asked for, you know what I mean? So, and I'm going to break it down to you exactly why I'm even talking about this. Um, I actually had a conversation with a friend of mine. And was talking about the different types of ask, different types of people that we get in our inboxes, and and it could be in various types of situations. Like you guys know, as always, I post up um, mostly when I get like aggressive guys in my in my inbox. I'll definitely show you guys those messages and see how those are. Now that is as simple as just blocking them and letting that be that. But then when it comes to a situation where I got a lot of females that kind of come with the same pretense, kind of come with the same um, persona or same attitude, it, it kind of puts me in a mind frame like, is it me? Like, am I doing something to get this type of reaction? Now, keep in mind, as always, we have our thought posts, we have our thought pictures, our thought videos, things that really warrant attention, things that we do that, that we can get attention and likes and shares or whatever it is that we might be seeking at that time, which this video is not about that because that's just what it is. And as you all know, if I post anything up like that, it'll also be to that extent. Mostly because, hell, I think I look good. And if I feel that, and I, I'm feeling myself, I would definitely just share it. And whoever appreciates it can definitely just show the love as well. But where the problem lies in is where that's the where the attention stops. That's where it ends, to where... You're not really concerned about anything else that's going on outside of that. And even though I might post up my thought pictures and my thought videos, I am not really asking for people to come into my inbox, into my DM, trying to seek anything else other than just connecting with me on any, on a certain type of level. So I'm not really reaching out trying to find a bunch of fuck buddies. I'm not reaching out trying to find a bunch of girlfriends. You know what I mean? Um, I got people that I associate myself with. As you guys know, I, I don't hide shit. You know what I mean? But at the same time, I don't believe that I need to put all of my personal business out there for others to find out and to read. So, with that, I make sure that I make myself open to what I'm trying to do. So, let me give you guys another example. Um, when I first started Law of Attraction, and I was going through my own little stage of depression at that time. So, I was really feeling down on myself. I really was, was talking about myself in a negative way and just really feeling as though everything I was doing was kind of turned to trash. And I started realizing that I was doing it to myself. So listening to Tony Robbins, listening to Abraham, and I started opening up my eyes to realizing that basically what I was doing and how I was being and how I was speaking was attracting those same things to me. So I changed all that. So like I said, I stopped drinking and I started taking different steps to, to stop doing the things that was antagonizing that. Okay, and then I started loving myself more. But as you as as you guys know, for those of you that study law of attraction, when you love yourself more, other people start to love you as well. So it became kind of an issue for those who weren't really secure with being around me or even my past relationships. So it started bringing in at least it made me feel good, but then everybody else who weren't really secure in themselves, it just made them feel some type of way. You know what I mean? So. But I knew what I was trying to strive for. I knew that I was seeking a group of people that could support me in this walk of life, in this journey of law of attraction, and understanding myself and how to reach out to others in what I was studying. 
because that at the time and still to till this day means a lot to me. So if I find anybody meet up with anybody who is actually into law of attraction, that makes me feel good. That makes me feel like there's a reason why I'm there. There's a reason why I'm speaking to them, and that's how I actually just felt just just uh, yesterday at the dentist. There's a lady there. I brought my Think Grow Think and Grow Rich book before she could even see the cover. I know what this book's about. I know what this is. You know what I mean? And that made me feel good. Like okay. I'm supposed to be here. For whatever it is, I'm supposed to connect with her. So I end up finding out some things about the situation. So it when it comes to what I was trying to do, I started really realizing I needed to grow my support base. I needed to grow more people to be a part of my journey. So that way I can get that help and continue to get the support. So that way whenever I feel down, I don't have to actually be down. You know what I mean? So I met a lot of people that was in the law of attraction. A lot of people that changed my life. And it... It blossomed to what it is today. So I use that. You know what I mean? Then also you get your other side of people that even if you attract one group of people, some of people going to come along the way. You know what I mean? And they're going to have bad intentions. They're going to automatically just want to do certain things as far as maybe just having sex, which I'm not saying it's a bad thing. But for where I'm at in my life right now, I need you to connect with me on all types of different levels. I can't just associate with you just with, with sex. I can't. Just do something. Just one thing, and this thing has to be. As that's it. I'm not as much as I used to be a person who believed in casual sex. That's not something that I believe in now. So my thought process, along with my growth, has definitely changed for the better. I definitely am conscious and aware of what type of energy that I put around me, so that way I am only putting things. With so <laughs> my phone got full. But anyway. Um, I'm really just conscious about making sure that I put only certain energies around me that can help me for the better. And, and it's just, it's just one of those things that you have to, you really start to do for yourself. Because at the end of the day, you get the wrong type of energy, the wrong type of vibe around you, you can feel it. You can feel it and it'll definitely affect your mood. It could affect your day. It could affect any kind of progress that you already have had up until that point. And I'm not about that. So, um, I encourage you guys, if there's somebody that you're interested in. You know, if it's somebody that you are vibing with, try to learn more than just about the sexual aspects. Try to do want to do more than just do this. You know what I mean? Because keep in mind, I get it that usually this works on certain types of people. That some people, that's all they want. I understand that. But then when it comes to somebody like myself and other people like me, I want a little more. You know what I mean? Get like, Delve into it just a little bit deeper. You know what I mean? Like, dig into my mind and my brain. Because I'll have to... The conversation could start off like that in my inbox, but I'm going to find a way to change that shit, you know what I mean, to see where you really at mentally. Um, I actually had this, actually we'll leave you guys with this note, but I actually had this one person that I actually thought would have been a really cool connect. I didn't even realize how huge she was in her business until after the fact, but we were vibing, at least I thought it was, um, could have met actually in person, but she was too shy, I believe at the time, to even really speak to me. And then kind of find out later on that she really had like, this big ass crush on me, which is okay. I got like I said, it's okay. But I, I was I liked her her mind and her where her her brain was how it was functioning. So I actually appreciated that. Now I wanted to learn some from her. You know what I mean? But she wanted something more. And ultimately, she unfriended me, and it kind of made me feel some type of way. But then at the same time, I was like, well, it is what it is. You know what I mean? I can't force anybody to to, to react or to be. Around me in some type of way. If that's what they want, that's what they want. But again, I know what I, I want and need at this time. And if it's solely that, I can't do nothing for you. And that goes for a lot of other people who you might reach out to. And if they're not really acknowledging that, then they try to go by a different way. Try to really show your true intentions, even if it's beforehand. So that way they already know, well, this is what you want. This is where we can't go and vice versa or whatever the situation might be. So um, let me know what you guys think about that. This is a topic. I don't want anybody to feel any type of way because I'm actually talking about it. But I just wanted to talk about it because there might be other people who feel this certain type of way. So, you know, we're not all sex objects, man. Like, speak to us. You know what I mean? Like I said, dig into my brain. And I'll do the same. And we can vibe. And the relationship would be a lot deeper. You know what I mean? Versus just physical. So, thanks for so much for listening and watching this. Um, I'm going to combine my two videos since they cut off. But um, I'll, I appreciate y'all and I love y'all. And I want y'all to continue to be great. I'll see you guys on the next one. All right?